Hello everyone, and in this video you will learn how to work with application Mapster32, which is basically a map editor for Duke Nukem 3D uh, Windows port eduke32. So first of all you launch this application and you may uh, face uh, 3D mode like this or 2D mode. So, uh, it's uh, 3D mode uh, and this is 2D mode. They are switchable with your uh, enter button, which is located in the right bottom corner of your keyboard. So, gray enter, or you know, this enter which is located in the right bottom corner of your keyboard. keyboard. Uh, so let's just start with controls, with menu first of all. So menu can be accessed uh, in a 2D mode uh, by uh, pressing escape. So in the menu you can see many options. New, load, save, save as, test, undo, redo, quit. So let's create a new map. So we hit enter, I mean uh, escape, and then we hit new. Uh, are you sure you want to start a new board? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, here we go. This is a clean map. So uh, there are many buttons you can uh, use to work with your map. So let's just start with zoom out and zoom in. So to zoom in, you press, you hold A. To zoom out, you hold Z. A, Z, A, Z. Let's zoom in and create a basic uh, room. So you take your mouse, mouse, and you move it. And here you can see that you have here grids. So uh, let's just start with creating a simple room. So we will talk about grid size later. Now let's create a simple, simple room. So now uh, I lock it to grids. You can see, so uh, I'm. If I hit L button, L, so I am not locked to grids. When I hit L button again, I lock it to grids. So we create this simple room, and we need to, uh, you know, uh, so the this start point should be exactly when uh, where is the end point, and I and I press space. So this is you know uh, space. So I, I hit space, I move it, I hit space, I move it, I hit space, move it, hit space, and then I hear, uh, hit space here again. Now I have this simple room. So obviously you may see here not this texture, you can see here only grids. So to switch between uh, three modes, so uh, just grid, uh, texture, or animated texture, you hit backspace to switch between modes. For now let's talk about grids. So this is a basic side of, uh, size of grid. So how I move it my uh, my uh, my you know, you know this guy here. So this is my guy. Uh, so I hold uh, right mouse button I hold it and I move it. So let's just say I want to create a big corridor here, you know, not uh, so and to and to make it easy I I hit G G right and I change grid size of my button. Also you can use uh mouse wheel to zoom in and to and to zoom out. So I hit G again, and, and you can see that my grid size is now smaller. Once again, G, and this is the smallest one, so we don't see any grids at all. So we don't have lock to grids. Now I hit G again, and we have uh, the biggest grids. So I want to create my corridor here. So I move my mouse cursor here, or no, not mouse cursor, you know this red cross. I move it here and I search for a key on my keyboard which has name insert. I'm going to insert point. So I 
hit insert here and I move it here and I click insert here now I want to create a corridor so I move my my mouse here my cross here and I hit space I move it hit space move it hit space move it hit space so again and now I have this corridor so it's basics about 2d edit editing so let's go to the 3d mode 3d mode it's very interesting also so we m have to make sure that we are located in in a level not in a vacuum so it's a vacuum right so if I hit my enter so enter button which is located in the right bottom corner of my keyboard I hit enter and you can see there's a message arrow must be inside a sector before entering 3d mode so I hold my right mouse button and I move my guy somewhere inside of actual 3d space so for instance here and I hit my enter so I will call this enter gray enter gray enter in my case it's the enter button which is located in the right bottom corner of your keyboard so I hit gray enter and here we are we are in a 3d mode so now this uh, 3d port I mean this Windows port of Duke Nukem 3d level editor has mouse support and this mouse support is very advanced so uh, now I can hold right mouse button and I can look around uh, usually you uh, when you press W, S, A and D buttons to move into the space in your favorite video games especially shooters, FPS and actions in this case you use uh, arrows so forward, backward, leftward, right I mean left, right and th there is no strafe as far as I know only you know this forward, backward, right, left so it's about movement. To dive, uh, you should press Z, Z, and to uh, elevate to go up, you have to hold A, A Z A Z A Z. It's about movement in 3D space. Uh, also, what can I say about movement? So movement is very restricted. So uh, actually if you want to uh, to move you know down or upward you don't have to you know uh, look at this place and and hold uh, up arrow it will not go up upward you have to do this you, you have to hold a and then you have to press up button to go forward so it's a basics about movement now let's go to basic editing in a tree mode so uh, you create your walls your basics uh, you know your basic architecture in 2d mode which can be uh, switched you know uh, with gray enter uh, gray enter once again it's an enter which is located in the right bottom corner of your keyboard I just go back to our 3d mode press gray enter again and you can see that we have uh, more options in this uh, in in this vision in this in this uh, 3d mode so we can actually edit uh, texture of our walls we can make a uh, slopes uh, we can make skies uh, so we can actually do many stuff but let's just start with basics so let's just uh, so once again we are going to hold the right mouse button and uh, select a surface to apply texture so let's just use this wall so to apply texture basically you know it's your first step you have to make sure that your mouse cursor or in this case wide cross is looking right at your wall or any other surface so here you, you can see that uh, we have 
uh, two icons on the left of your screen so uh, the top icon and bottom icon so the first uh, icon it's about clipboard it's what copied to your clipboard bottom icon it's what you're looking at exactly so now I hit we button we like you know victory and now you can see this is uh, the textures are already used in this map so this is a texture uh, so and basically uh, all um, visual elements in this video editor are divided into components so if you are looking at wall and you hit uh, we so you see now the, uh, uh, the visual elements which are applied only to walls and now you have to hit uh, we button again and you can select your uh, texture so we, you can use now mouse it's not missy dos version so it's much better to use it in windows because it y you have m advantages so you save your time uh, so you can use your uh, uh, mouse wheel to uh, to scroll down up and down and to select uh, uh, and to select the texture you can click on it on it or you can uh, use upwards downwards left right I mean right left and select your texture so I'm going to select this one tile oh this one and and I use mouse for now and let's hold a right mouse button and, and look around so we have only this texture applied right and we want to copy this texture onto other walls for instance this wall and this wall so this is why exactly we have this clipboard icon on in the left uh, edge of our screen so you, you can see there are I know two icons I know uh, the very basic texture and uh, and uh, it's in our clipboard and a second icon is current it means that we are looking at this texture right now so we hit tab button and we copy this texture we are looking at into our clipboard now we can hold right mouse button and we can do this we can hit enter not gray enter we hit simple enter and we copy out uh, uh, we paste uh, the texture which we have in our clipboard onto the wall it's very basic te techniques but also if you want to apply this texture onto all walls in this sector so this wall so which walls are connected to this sector so all the walls you, you can see so this is basically a sector so for you guys to understand you know the meaning of the sector it's a component it's a it's a part of your level which is divided by wall or this uh, you know red line so this is a sector number one and number two so we hit gray enter once again so gray enter its enter which is located in a right bottom corner of your keyboard and now I want to apply all this this texture I saved in my in my clipboard onto the all walls I can see in this in this sector. To do this, I hold control, control, and I press enter. And you can see now that this wall texture tile, which is in my clipboard, now is applied to all textures in this sector for now we have everything you know learned about uh, te te texture in the wall so it's very basic uh, so in the next episode I hope if you like it we can continue with resizing the walls with working with te with textures and that stuff also can be discussed in the next episodes and now let's switch to understanding of how you can easily I uh, you know browse in the textures 
so you can hit your W, I mean, no W, we victory. And now you can see that we have now two textures available in our library of used textures for the walls. So you can, uh, and also you can see there are numbers in the uh, left uh, top corner of each texture in our library. So you can see here, uh, this tile has number 6 and this is has number 4. So this means that this texture was used 4 times and this used 6 times. Now I hit V again and I can select more textures here. Also, I can use a very original mode. So you can see on your keyboard you, on your keyboard you have you know one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then you you have minus right and plus buttons so if you hit minus you go back in a texture line in your library in uh, I mean not in your library in a library of game materials if you hit plus button you go forward and also it's you know uh, it's it can be applied to floor right uh, and also you know floor has a very cool option so floor can you know have you know floors and uh, and the ceilings they are in this engine they are they are the same so what I mean when I say when I said when I say that they are the same so uh, <coughs> you can apply the same effects you can use on floor you you can apply them on the ceiling so we hit tab and we hit now enter so we copy and paste texture which we which was applied to floor is now on a, a ceiling so if you hit P button you make your uh, floor or ceiling a parallax beat so what it does mean so it's very good for uh, skies for instance so let's just select this one right and we have this wonderful sky also about floors er, and ceilings you can work with slopes so how to make slope slope is very easy so you can see uh, there is a P key on your keyboard P key I mean uh, key that has letter P on it and there are two keys on the right from P key so you know you know it's like you know this uh, uh, on the right from your P letter key on your keyboard two buttons two keys so <coughs> One, two, one, two. This is how it does work. And uh, how to mm, change orientation of this slope? So actually, you have to find uh, a, mm, the face of this slope. So the face actually is this wall. And I need to uh, look at the wall which should be. Uh, face of our slope slope and I need to hold alt and press alt F and now you can see that my slope orientation is different so once again how to make slopes slopes is very easy so slopes can be applied to uh, ceiling and to floor how to make slope uh, do just make a sector and then go to uh, 3D mode. Then, uh, then find a P on your keyboard, and there are two keys on the right from P uh, key on your keyboard. There are two keys, so, and you have to press them, and you will find out how it does work. You know. And <coughs> it's about uh, floors and that stuff. Um, uh, now let's talk about uh, more stuff you can do in 
2D mode. So now let's press gray enter. Gray enter it's once again I tell I tell you this it's my last time I tell you this. Gray enter it's enter button enter key which is located in the right bottom corner of your keyboard. Let's press gray enter. And you can see now though so we have uh, uh, textures uh, visible in our 2D mode. I'm going to hide my textures in this mode so I press backspace and I have them hidden. So I don't like this grid size so I want to work with smaller grids so I hit G button and I have my proper size of my grid. So now I hold right right mouse button and you can see that I can move my character. So this green guy it's our starting position, starting position. So if you want to play your map later, be sure that you have this gray guy, this gray, I mean green starting position not in the vacuum because you will die instantly on the map spawn on the map start. How to place your a spawn position is where is it if it's not multiplayer game use this uh, technique so place your uh, white guy somewhere here and press scroll lock and here we go you have your starting position for single player made let's talk about uh, let's talk about um, design of your level about editing. So now you know how to create, how to insert uh, points, right? How to create layers, I mean not layers, uh, sectors. Now let's add more details. So we added here two uh, points. I made it with insert button which is available on your keyboard. Now I move my mouse cursor and I hit space here. I move it, space, 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 and I end here, hit space. You can see now I have this, uh, you know, structure of my, of my points. What I want to do here, I want to make here a crack. Okay, let's just add more points, so this one and this one. I, I, I press insert to add points. Space, space, <coughs> space, 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 space. Now I have my, uh, you know, my structure of points ready for creation of crack. So to create crack, we need to have mm, two parts of our uh, surface, and there uh, should be some hollow between two parts of our surface. So I hold my right mouse button and I hold my uh, you know forward you know up up arrow key and I move it then I select any texture okay let's just say it's going to be this one and now this one and I select uh, and now look 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 uh, sometimes it's very hard to uh, to point uh, your across uh, your uh, um, your cursor in Mapster onto a proper texture, you know the place you want to uh, you want your mouse cursor to look at. So I recommend you to to use this simple trick. Look, let's say you have here uh, three textures, all the same. For this sector, for this and for this, and you want to change my uh, texture of this sector. So how to make it work? How I do this? I uh, hold, I uh, keep my mouse cursor, my cross, white cross, above this sector, and I press minus, and I hold my white cross above this sector and I press also minus and now I can see what I'm looking at so you can see there I know two icons 
clipboard and current. Current is what I'm looking at. I move my mouse cursor here, and I can see that I'm now looking at uh, I know this crack. Now I hit we we victory, and you can see also now that uh, look, this is library for walls and ceiling textures. This is library of textures you set for walls only. So okay, let's just hit we button and select. So it's it's going to be our crack, and have to make you know the texture of this crack. So you know you can uh, select scale of texture for <coughs> walls and ceilings. Let's start you know uh, from walls and ceilings and ceilings. So you can hit E button. I mean not I. I mean E button, and you can select your scale like this. Or you can just press P button to make it parallax, so it looks like, uh, you know, um, you know, real correct. <coughs> and now let's work with heights. So let's just say you want to work with heights. We want, we want uh, to make this crack, right? Be you know, uh, be you know, mm, below our floor. So we select our texture, and how you can work. So <coughs> you can work with mouse and with keyboard. So I recommend you now work with uh, mouse because with mouse it's much better. Why you will see now. So look. If I work with keyboard, look, I press <coughs> page down, right? And page down again. And you can see now, so, you know, page down and page up keys are for moving our uh, uh, floor or sling up and down. And now you, you can see that, you can see that I'm looking not at, not at uh, uh, floor. Now I'm looking at wall. So look at the, you know the current icon. So we are looking now at at <coughs> at wall, and that is and that's not what I'm looking for. We need to you know to uh, to look at floor constantly. So now I will show you how to do this. So take your mouse, right? Not keyboard. Look at your <coughs> floor. Hold right mouse button, right. And you can see there is a Z, uh, Z letter appears. This letter means that we are now working with height. And now you can use your uh, mouse wheel to uh, work with height. Also, you can hold uh, uh, right mouse button and control to make uh, you know the bigger gaps. So you know it will be not so s smooth. You can see, and it, if I release control, it will be smooth. Smooth. If I hold control, it will be not smooth. So I'm going. So and also there is a uh, information about sector three. So this is sector number three, and it, and it, and about its height. So you, so it's you know this green text in your uh, left. Uh, bottom corner of the screen. So you, this is, you know, you see sector three floor Z. It's a uh, height of your floor. So now I'm holding uh, control and I'm uh, holding right mouse button and I'm using my mouse wheel to move it down. And you can see that floor height is, you know, is changing. So okay, it's enough for me. And now I want to change the, the texture for this crack uh, side wall. So I hit V, right, and I select my texture. So I want it to be something made from, uh, you know, cracks. So now I uh, I selected this, right, and I uh, uh, hit Tab. Tab it's to copy uh, the texture you are looking at into your clipboard. I hit tab. Now we have our texture of cracky 
uh, blue stuff it's a uh, ice or snow copy it to our clipboard and now I hold control and I press enter simple enter not gray enter and now you can see that we have all textures of this sector I mean all walls of this sector is uh, uh, you know they are using this texture so this wall and this wall why this wall and that wall because this wall and this wall they are part of uh, so they they are walls of sector number three so I hit tab enter enter so and now let's finish our simple basic level and if you like this video you can hit a like button or, or dislike button or you know give me some comment and I can proceed with next episodes of this lessons if you like it if you don't like it so I can uh, dump it and uh, it, it will go to, to nowhere so <clears throat> I'm going to finish with this with this uh, simple level so I hit tab right enter and uh, enter enter if you have some questions also if you like this video if you have some questions uh, you can leave them all you know I can explain you about everything about this editor so I learned this editor from the age of you know 10 or maybe 9 years old so it happened at, you know very long time ago very very very, very long time ago so yeah and now guys Thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later. So now I hit escape, save. I can save it as new board or I can save it as other file. I press save as. So I press A and I. Uh, lesson 1. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later.